and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for May 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid asset and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your earn. Also, right now, there's a new Humble Bundle. I think this one might be the biggest bundle I've ever seen. It has over 5,000 models. Everything from a city pack, some houses, forests, a bunch of survival props, some construction, characters, there are some vehicles, something medical, Wild West, farm, and tons more stuff. It's just 25 bucks, so really if you need some low poly assets, then this is a great deal. You could build a million game ideas with all of these packs, so check it out, the link in the description. Alternatively, there are two more bundles. There's one with a bunch of realistic materials and tons and tons of stuff. And there's another one with lots of top-down sprites. Or if you need some tools, and check out the spring sale on the Unity Asset Store. I highlighted some of my favorite assets in another video. All the ones that I covered in my asset review series are on sale. For example, this is a great time for you to pick up the Quantum Console, so you can easily follow my free multiplayer course. And the Flash deals are also still continuing. Definitely check that page to see which ones are starting soon, so you don't miss the deepest discounts. Alright, so starting off with a really nice space skybox pack. Changing the skybox is one of the easiest things you can do to make your game look much, much better. These skybox, they all look gorgeous. I could see myself using this in some kind of spaceship piloting game. Next up, here is the latest Cindy Studios pack. This is a fun one all about a casino. It's got some really flashy characters with some very unique outfits. Then it also has a huge casino environment with tons of unique rooms. So the obvious games would be some kind of casino tycoon, or perhaps some kind of heist game, maybe something inspired by Ocean's Eleven. If you need some sci-fi particles, then here's a great pack. Features some very strange, very unique particle effects. Some bars and some screens, which kind of look like radars or target indicators. This is the kind of thing that you can add in the background to your game and make it feel much more alive. Or perhaps you're working on some pixel art game and you need some heroes? If so, then look at this one. Features tons and tons of customization. You can change the body, hair, skin color, equip a bunch of weapons and armor, then easily use it in-game with included animations, either in skeletal form or export to PNG. For something much more realistic, here is a gothic interior. Features some insanely high quality assets, looks very gothic, which is actually quite spooky. It includes modular parts so you can build your own levels. Next here is a fun stylized horse, looks very friendly, it's got multiple visual variations and includes several animations. Great if you need some kind of mount for your game. Next here is a nice Mediterranean island and army base. This looks like it was taken straight from something like Far Cry or perhaps Just Cause, so if you'd like to make games similar to those, then this would be a great starting point. Or perhaps you're working on some kind of wizard game? If so, check out this Magic Wand animation pack. It includes one hand with six wands and seven animations. The animations have names, but really it's up to you to decide what each animation represents. You can make them cast all kinds of spells, and this also includes a troll character just for fun. If you're more into sci-fi, then look at this nice weapon pack. It features quite a lot of weapons that are all very high quality models. They've got tons of polygons, they're all very detailed with various skins. The weapons have separated parts, so you can very easily animate them. Then for a fun VFX pack, here's a nice one. It's got lots of interesting cartoony effects meant to work in URP. You've got 24 animations with nature, fire, and ice. Next up, here is a nice looking low poly map pack. Right away, I select this one because it reminds me so much of this too. I spent a significant portion of my childhood inside that map. This one is a pretty cheap pack with some really nice assets. It includes 100 prefabs, which you can mix and match to build whatever map you want. You can do that or really just use the included demo scene. For something super high quality, check out this knight character. It looks really gorgeous, really great design, very interesting style, kind of looks like some kind of dark paladin. All of it is done using some very high quality 4K textures. Next here is a fun animation pack all about death animations. It's quite interesting to have an entire pack just focused on death animations. I guess there are tons of ways your characters can die. This one includes 30 animations, everything from a basic one just falling down to some that look pretty gruesome and very intense. If you like this pack, then this tab has tons and tons of excellent animation packs. Up next here is one that I hope doesn't demonetize this video. It's a pack with super realistic human organs and bones. Definitely very freaky. This would be perfect for any kind of horror game. Or perhaps you could use this to make an x-ray vision mechanic kind of like Mortal Kombat. For something a lot more jolly and cartoony, here are some fun animated brawlers. Very nice and cartoony style. Includes 18 stylized brawlers. 
the characters are all very creative, then each character also has a bunch of animations so you can easily use them in your games. Next for some UI, here is a nice sci-fi pack. Features lots of buttons, sliders and icons, you've got various headers, notification elements, and really anything to make a sci-fi game UI. Then here's a very niche but very interesting one, it's a bunch of dirt bike animations. There was an awesome game that I played as a kid called Motocross Madness. It was simple but it played really great, you could do all kinds of tricks. That's exactly what this pack reminds me of, could be fun to build a game just like that. This one has 5 dirt bikes, 5 characters and 60 animations. Everything from some normal ones to some really interesting tricks. Or perhaps you're working on some hex game, if so here is a nice asset pack. You could use this combined with my hex grid system that I made in a previous video. It includes lots of unique titles, some with some houses, others with resources or maybe some soldiers. So this would be the perfect pack to make a quick prototype kind of like Civilization. If you're looking for something more underground, here is a deep tunnel pack. It's got a realistic style, looks really nice, features tons of rocks and all kinds of props, so this could be a fun level in your game. Or maybe a look at this board game set. Making board games is an excellent way to get a few more games under your belt and gain some experience. So with a pack like this one, you could really build a bunch of prototypes and make them look interesting. Features chess, checkers, dominoes, go, playing cards and a bunch more. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity S store for May 23. There's links all in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and S on store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.